what is up you guys it's your boy freddy 2k and welcome back to press play where we talk about your new and upcoming movies and tv series and on this episode back by popular demand season 11 of the big bang theory the best clips now without any further ado let's jump into it mother i have some good news to We're share engaged. <laughs> i am so happy for you too but i'm not surprised i've been praying for this well, God had nothing to do with it. It happened because I was kissing another woman, and it made me realize I wanted to be with Amy. More than one woman was interested in you? I might have prayed a little too hard. Wait, oh, and I just, I want to let you know right now that we are not getting married in a church. That's all right, Sheldon. Anywhere Jesus is, is a church. Well, he won't be at our wedding. He's in my heart. So if I'm there, he'll be there. Okay, well, then he's your plus one. You don't get to bring anyone else. That's fine. Love you. I love you, too. Bye. Lord, thank you. Even though you can do anything, that was mighty impressive. We're engaged. Oh, my God, that's amazing. Wait, uh, tell me everything. Well, Dr. Nowitzki was kissing me. Okay, you can stop leading with that part of the story. Congratulations, I'm so happy for you two. Hold on, I have to tell Bernadette. Hey, Bernie, guess what? Sheldon and Amy got engaged. Can you believe it? Oh my God, I cannot believe it. She's so happy, I think she's crying. <laughs> okay, so you guys are upset because the collider thing disproved your theories? Well, it's worse than that. It hasn't found anything in years, so we don't know if we're right, we don't know if we're wrong, we don't know where to go next. All I know is it looks like I tongue-kissed Avatar. <laughs> Come on, you guys are physicists. Okay, you're always going to oh be physicists. And sure, sometimes the physics is hard, but isn't that what makes it boring? <laughs> hey, we're here. What's going on? Okay, as far as I can see, science is dead because Leonard killed it. And I, I don't know who the Romulans are, but those guys know how to party. <laughs> So what do you want us to do? I don't know. You're scientists. Cheer them up. Cheer them up? Do you even know what a scientist is? <laughs> but we don't need to be cheered up. It just turns out that physics is exactly like Lost. Started out great and turns out just a big old waste of time. <laughs> ooh, ooh. You know what you sound like? Babies. Two whiny babies. There's nothing worse than being stuck with two whiny babies. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You're gonna have two kids. <laughs> oh my God, I'm gonna have two babies. <laughs> no, 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 babies are great. You're lucky to have two babies. I mean, look at me. Uh, I'm all alone. I'm never gonna have babies because you can't make a baby watching Netflix with your dog. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Thanks for coming. Here you go. Thanks. It's too bad Stuart couldn't make it. He seemed fun. Oh, yeah, he is. I love him dearly. Not to say that I don't worry about him. What's to worry about? You know what? I'm talking out of school. Speaking of which, he's allowed to live near them now. Hey, guys. Oh, great, Stuart, you're here. Yeah, Stuart, yeah, I didn't, I didn't think you were going to make it. Mm. I believe that. <laughs> Sorry, guys, it's work. I've got to take it. Oh. I'm so glad you made it, Stuart. Oh, yeah, so glad. I can't believe you went behind my back. Which clearly means I want this more. You want to play a game of who's more desperate with me? Because <laughs> you're in the big leagues now, bucko. <laughs> look, look, Richie and I are really hitting it off. Please, let me just have this one. I'm not going anywhere. I'm like a fungus you can't get rid of. Sorry. So what's going on? Oh, you just missed Stuart's funny story about the fungus he can't get rid of. <laughs> Raj didn't tell me about tonight, so he could be alone with you. Really? That's a little weird. Just a little, because I can work with that. Look, guys, I'm not interested in dating anyone right now. I'm just looking to make some friends. Yeah, I totally understand. But if you were going to date someone, would it be me or Stuart? I 
think I'm gonna go. Uh, 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 Ruchi, I'm sorry. If you still want to hang out as friends, I'd like that. Thanks, Stuart. I'd like that too. And the fungus is under the toenail. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Pen. Oh, hello, Leonard. <laughs> hello, Mother. How are you? Fine. And you? I'm great. Well, it's been lovely catching up. No, no, no. Wait. Hang on. We need to talk. Oh, brother. Jesus Christ. I want to know, why aren't you proud of me? Well, isn't the real question, why aren't you proud of yourself? No, th that is a question, and I ask it a lot. <laughs> But let's stick with the one I asked you. But why do you think I'm not proud of you? Because you never say it? But two days into chatting with Penny, and you can't stop telling her how great she is. She is great. Honestly, of all of my children's spouses, she's the one that I'm most impressed by. Seriously? Yes. She's confident, she's thoughtful, and she never complained about you once. I know what kind of strength that takes. So, Penny's your favorite? I suppose she is. You married well, Leonard, and for that, I am proud of you. I don't, I don't, I don't know what to say. I'm also proud of how hard you're trying not to cry. <laughs> Thank you. Would you like to hang up now? Yeah, here it comes. <laughs> Okay, I put new batteries in the smoke detectors. Did you do the laundry? I sure did. Ooh, he's gonna be steamed. <laughs> Just like his dress shirts. At least he could still clean the oven, so that's something. No, oh, that's what he thinks. Where's your steel wool? Right here. <laughs> we make quite the team. Sure do. <laughs> Guys, you won't believe this. I stopped by the university to check in on Howard and Amy, and they were having fun. Well, don't worry. He won't be having any fun when he gets home. I did all his favorite chores. <laughs> what are you talking about? Howard hates doing chores. But then why would Bernadette tell me that... Bernadette. <laughs> <laughs> did you play on my well-established gullibility to clean your house? Sure did. <laughs> well... I would storm out of here, but I already have the gloves and the steel wool, and I really do love cleaning an oven move. I'm getting a little hungry. Want me to get it this time? Oh, that'd be great. This is fine. And now you also get to see an annoyed blonde walk into the room. What? He does a little snack. Are you sure you don't want your spy to do it? What are you talking about? You really don't trust me? You had to have Amy stop by? I trust you. Yeah, you were a terrible waitress, and we still asked you to get us a snack. <laughs> Excuse me while I go take care of your baby, then I'll bring you your snack, and you can insult me some more. I don't know about you, but I am not eating whatever she brings us. <laughs> me it's kind of nice she hates you now too um, but i'm here for you and i would never let anything happen to you because your auntie penny loves you so much mama <laughs> is that her first word mama <laughs> Bird. Bird, bird. Bird, bird, bird. What do you want, Sheldon? I would like us to work together again. I promise to keep my geology comments to myself, you know, because while some of them are funny, all of them are mean. Wow. Oh, this man. is awkward. <laughs> What's going on? Leonard, what are you doing here? Bird asked 
asked for my help. Yeah, he's an excellent scientist, and he doesn't tell me what time I can go to the bathroom. It's called bladder training. When you're in your 80s, you'll thank me for it. Look, Sheldon, you were a jerk to Bert, and he walked away from you, so I feel like there's a lot he could teach me. <laughs> Bert, please. Look, I, I know I behaved poorly in the past, but things will be different this time. You'll see. You, come on. Let me in. <laughs> we'll have some laughs. We'll calculate some isotope ratios. I'm sorry, Sheldon. So, you just shut the door in his face? I gotta start writing this stuff now. <laughs> So what do you think? Can you make it work? Uh, I just need to use the cross section to calculate the probability of the interaction. Can we help? Yes. Why don't you one get me a can of Pringles? <laughs> Leonard, I was... What's Kripke doing here? Well, he's just helping us develop a better, more efficient neutrino comm system that we're going to pitch to the military, making yours obsolete. Yeah, Leonard thought of it. It's genius. Oh, thanks. You, you see, instead of using liquid helium... Good God, man! Shut up! <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. You didn't tell me we were doing this just to stick it to Sheldon. Oh, well... I'm messing with you. This Sunday just got a cherry on top. <laughs> Fine. Uh, good luck to you. The military's already interested in my system, and my math has worked out. His still has a big gap in it. Where? There. Uh... <laughs> got the laptop. Hand it here. Yep. Oh, this is so exciting! Mm -hmm. Hey, when we sell the Bitcoin, are you gonna pay your dad back all the money you took from him over the years? I never even crossed my mind. <laughs> okay, here's the Bitcoin folder. Yeah, how much is in there? It's empty. What? That, that's impossible. <laughs> Do you think Zach stole it? He doesn't know how to steal Bitcoin. I mean, he waves at trucks. <laughs> hmm. Who could it have been? Sheldon, what did you do? I plotted my revenge. If you get a dish, I'll serve you some cold. But you, you stole a Bitcoin? Oh, calm down. All I did was sneak onto your computer and download your Bitcoin onto a flash drive. What? But I'm not keeping it. I just wanted to watch you sweat. Well, if you want to watch him sweat, walk up a flight of stairs with him. <laughs> I've waited seven long years, but it finally happened. Where's our money? That's the best part. It's on the Batman flash drive on your keychain. You've had it in your pocket all along. <gasps> um, Sheldon, I lost that keychain years ago. Really? <laughs> Did you, did you oh look God. under things? <laughs> wow. Well, that is unfortunate. I guess we have all learned a lesson today. <laughs> there we... What was the lesson? I don't know. <laughs> oh, man. Want to grab some lunch? <clears throat> you know what? I don't think so. Well, let me guess. You're not eating because the mean girls circled your chubby bits and marker. No, that, that right there, that's the reason. You're always making fun of me. <laughs> well, those are just jokes. It's my way of saying that we're friends and it wouldn't hurt you to drop a few. <laughs> See, no wonder I don't have any confidence. Come on, you can't blame that on me. Why not? 15 years of constant ridicule. I, I think our relationship has become toxic. What are you saying? I think you and I need to spend some time away from each other. Damn. Look, I, I can see you're upset, but I'm gonna need some ground rules. While we're apart, can I see other needy Indian men? Get off! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Look, I'm sorry about not inviting you to Hallie's birthday. That wasn't cool, and of course, we would love to have you here. Thank you. I'd really like to be there. <laughs> Great, because it's tomorrow, and I need you to plan it. <laughs> what? What? 
Well, Stuart was gonna help, but the free clinic had an open spot for a colonoscopy and he jumped on it. Wait, so, so, so you're just apologizing because you need something? Yeah. Yes, and I think it's pretty mature of me to admit it. Well, that's very insulting. Right again, are you gonna help me or not? No, I will not help you. But I will help Hallie. She's my goddaughter and I love her. And I have a lot of party favors left over from Cinnamon's birthday, so... <laughs> I hope she likes things that squeak when you chew on them. She's a human being, not an animal. But that actually would be a hit. So, Leonard, tell everyone your news. Oh, uh, I am starting a book. That would be big news from Penny, but you've read a book before. <laughs> He's writing a book. I do. It's something I've been thinking about for a long time. Yeah, it's about a brilliant physicist who solves crimes using science. Yeah. Oh, Leonard. it's not about you. <laughs> he probably has to say that for legal reasons. Uh-oh. He gave us plain rice instead of fried rice. Well, no fair. I soul cycle this morning. I'm entitled to a pile of fat rice. <laughs> Well, I would say that this constitutes a catering crisis. I agree. Who's going to step up and handle it? <laughs> Doesn't matter. This is fine. Penny? What? <laughs> you know what? I'll take care of it. Whoa, shit, Howard Wallowitz. <laughs> Mega woman, chow fan. Pangsa Indu Pangya Bugao, sing up. Sia Sia. Done. You didn't make him feel bad, did you? Actually, he was laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really impressed at how you handled that, Howard. Please, I've been sending food back my entire life. One of my first full sentences was, I had breast milk for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, but before we start eating, I, I would like to make a toast. Oh, oh nice. nice. If only I could think of one. Someone else go. Oh, you're getting us dinner. Sorry, I had to stop at Sheldon's and help him solve string theory. <laughs> What? <laughs> yeah, it turns out the answer's knots. That's cute, but you can't have knots in more than four dimensions. Mm, you can if you consider them sheets. Good night. <laughs> I'm Dr. Rajesh Kutrapali, and thank you for taking a walk with me <laughs> through the studs. I, I think that one was too long. Yeah, you're right. I totally felt it. Should we uh, run it again? Please, God, no. Hey. Hey. Can I help you? Which one of you is Rajesh Kutrapali? Really, you're not sure which one of us is Rajesh Kutrapali? I am. I was just trying not to be racist. I'm Nell's husband. <laughs> oh, um, here's the thing I didn't know that she was married until after after what <laughs> I'm really sorry well, that doesn't make me feel better what would make you feel better I want you to stop seeing my wife done nice to meet you bye <laughs> what am I gonna do <laughs> This problem to figure out, Raj. Why are you even tripping? Just keep it moving, bro. The hell? You felt threatened by him. Hey, buddy, do, do you want to talk? I thought we were going to start a family. Next thing I know, it's over. It's going to be okay. How is it going to be okay? You're sleeping with my wife. <laughs> I mean, besides that. Besides that. <laughs> Boy, I don't know how 
people who aren't on bed rest keep up with the Kardashians. Well, sometimes you have to read in your car while your husband thinks you're working late. Speaking of which, he came by yesterday to show me his book. Oh, and, and what did you think? I liked it. Really? The Ilsa character didn't bother you? Oh, he was exaggerating. You're not really like that. <laughs> well, I know I'm not like that. But the character was based on you. And I didn't know what to tell you. When I brought it up with Leonard, he said it was you. Well, when I brought it up, he got all squirrely and left the room. Son of a bitch. <laughs> You okay? Uh, I think there was an attraction. Well, is it time? Do we need to go to the hospital? No, we've been through this before. My water hasn't even broken yet. Well, never mind your water. Has your mucus plug popped out? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, you're right. We probably would have heard that. It's not a champagne cork, although that would be festive. <laughs> you know what? Maybe we should go. Did you have another contraction? No, I'm just worried that Sheldon's going to say mucus plug again. <laughs> I'm worried one's gonna hit me in the eye. <laughs> yep, it's fine. Should we take two cars? Uh, actually, could you stay here and watch Hallie? That way we don't have to wait for Bernadette's parents? Yeah, you guys go. We'll take care of her. You have nothing to worry about. You know, well, not nothing. There are you both approaching the Suez Canal. <laughs> it's too late for us. Go, go, save yourselves. <laughs> Suez, birth, it's a big night for canals. <laughs> Kripke, the Wohoff said, huh? Why are you cleaning that out yourself? Don't you have grad students? Come on. I can't make my grad students do every dirty job. Or so I've been told in whiting by the head of human resources. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, so, look, I'm here to ask you to give Sheldon and Amy the anthonym for their wedding. <laughs> Why would I do that? <laughs> Because deep down, Barry, you're a really good guy. No, no. But am I? <laughs> oh, my Fine, God. what's it gonna take? <laughs> Barry, I have come to ask one more. Leonard? W w why are you doing that? Because deep down, Barry is not a good guy. He's making you clean out barrels of irradiated grease? Yeah. I made a deal with him to get you the Athenaeum for your wedding. Why would you do that? Because I was a jerk for lying to you before, and besides, you're my best friend. I want you to have the wedding of your dreams. On Mars? <laughs> How are you going to go to Mars? Okay, I want Amy to have the wedding of her dreams. <laughs> no, thank you. But I don't want you to do this. Well, it's okay. Well, no, it's not. We're not going to let Barry win. Well, what are we going to do? We have a combined IQ of 360. Yeah, perhaps more if that radiation gave you a super brain. <laughs> well, you're right. If we work together, we could totally outsmart Barry Kripke. Leonard, my nose itches. What do I do? Why is your screen name John Williams? Uh, because I always score. Hey, I think I'm gonna head to the office for a little bit. On a Sunday? Yeah, I wanna make sure I'm prepared for tomorrow. Do you think you could get Bill Gates to sign something for me? Yeah, maybe. Like what? My arm, my chest, his call. His call will be to the police. <laughs> Benny, remember when I introduced you to 100 calorie Dove bars and you said you owed me like big time? Guys, even if I wanted to introduce you, there is no room in his schedule. I mean, look, look at this itinerary. I meet him at his hotel first thing tomorrow morning, then we're on the go all day long. You're right, guys, this is her job. We need to respect that. Thank you, honey. Proud of you. Love you. I totally just saw what hotel he's staying at. What are we waiting here for? For Penny to walk down the stairs, get in her car, and drive away. Right, smart. <clears throat> Hi, 
That long enough? She's pretty quick. Let's go. Hey, Sheldon. We found something pretty interesting. Huh. Well, that is surprising. I, for one, have no idea what they're talking about. Turns out, when Amy took over Penny's apartment, she was put on a lease, not you. Yeah, and when I moved across the hall, you got taken off the lease and I got added. Well, what are you saying? That Sheldon's not technically a tenant at all and therefore has no standing to be president of the Tenants Association no matter who votes for him? <laughs> I don't know how you found that out, but I am guessing all on your own. So, looks like we need to figure out who the new president should be. I nominate myself. I second it. Huh. Well, as a woman in love, I want to stand by my man. Too bad that's been rendered bureaucratically impossible. Well, this is hard for me because I do love a legal technicality, and this is a good one. Although not quite as good as the provision in California law, which states a person who occupies a dwelling for 30 consecutive days becomes a tenant at will, and as such. I vote for Leonard! You... <laughs> I'm sorry, Sheldon. With minimal power comes minimal responsibility. <laughs> and you couldn't handle it. Oh, wow. Don't you misquote Spider-Man to me. <laughs> it's not your fault. I mean, what man wouldn't be seduced by the power to decide how late the laundry room stays open? Wait, you're the reason I had to come back and get my jeans the next morning? I can't believe you expect me to give that up. Sheldon, it's the American way, the peaceful transfer of power. I don't know. Think about Ant-Man. I'm always thinking about Ant-Man. <laughs> Michael Douglas had the suit, and then he passed it on to Paul Rudd. Maybe you're right. Really? The Ant-Man thing? That's what won you over? <laughs> yes, he got the details right. That's how you use a superhero. <laughs> I suppose it is time I... Pass this on to Leonard. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Uh, I know that's hard for you. It was. But you know what? Instead of being in charge, I can now be the vocal opposition, criticizing and badgering the president at every turn. I think you'll be really good at that. <laughs> Me too. I think I made a huge mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. This place is creepy. Why? Wait, did you see his vegetable garden? Heirloom tomatoes in April. Creepy. <laughs> okay, listen. Dr. Walcott is a brilliant topologist. We need to set some ground rules so that you don't embarrass me. No magic, no whining. You just know. Hey! Uh, how come he gets to whine? <laughs> Dr. Walcott? Dr. Walcott? Dr. Walcott? Okay. It's a lot of locks. It's a lot of knocks. They're made for each other. <laughs> Jesus. Dr. Walcott. Dr. Cooper. Uh, who are these people? Oh, these are my friends. I wrote about them in my letter. A letter? I didn't get a letter. Well, oh, that's because I just sent it this morning. So score one for linear time. <laughs> well, um, I don't normally allow strangers into my house. But when you do, you, you let them out, right? <laughs> Dr. Cooper, if you can promise me these men share your intellect and academic rigor, yeah, I suppose they can join us. You guys might need to wait in the car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Just look at her over there. She just started and she gets to put up staff pics. I've been coming here over 10 years. I still can't put up Sheldon dislikes. I talked to her yesterday. She really seems to know her stuff. Challenge accepted. That is not what that was. Excuse me. I was wondering if you could recommend something. Oh, sure. You want to tell me what you like? I would not.
All right, well, you're wearing a Green Lantern shirt, so I'm guessing you're a DC fan. Although that's from the Alan Scott era, so you're probably not super into the current run. How would you feel about an alternate history where World War I was fought with dragons and magic? That's what I wanted the theme of my 10th birthday party to be. <laughs> Here, check this out. It's by Kurt Busick. You know, if you're interested in alternate histories, Neil Gaiman wrote one called 1602. I'm sorry, we're in the middle of something here. <laughs> it is pretty good, actually. He takes the Marvel superheroes and he puts them into Elizabethan England. Let me guess. Everyone thinks the X-Men are witches. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you take this home and if you don't like it, return it and I'll give you your money back. Just don't tell Stuart. Stuart who? <laughs> so, with this level of high-power laser array, we would actually be able to solve the black hole information paradox once and for all. That's impressive. And how much funding were you looking for? $20 million. Really? You think you can build that for $20 million? Not a chance. Not a chance. <laughs> I'm sorry, then why are you asking me for it? Because once you've spent $20 million, you're much more likely to give me an additional 50. So actually what you're saying is with $70 million, you can build this. I can see why you think that, but no. <laughs> no. You can't go to the Board of Trustees and say you gave Sheldon Cooper $70 million and have nothing to show for it. No, the only way you'd be able to save face is to double down. So 140. And then double again. <laughs> 280. And then, good news, not quite, double again. <laughs> so uh, what do you say? We have a deal? said no? No, that's only a two-letter word. You're gonna have to double down. <laughs> Hello, room service. I'm calling about the club sandwich on your menu. No, I, I don't want one. I just want you to spell it correctly. <laughs> wow. Well, unless the club is the poor typing club. Might okay. be. Now, let's discuss this 15% gratuity. Yeah, well, that was rude. Someone just lost their gratuity. <sighs> Sheldon, you need to apologize to your brother. I'm well. sorry? Yes, like that, but nicer and that way. <laughs> I have nothing to apologize for. Huh. I told you this was a bad idea. Sometimes you can't patch a tire, you just gotta buy a new one. Actually, that's always the case. Never patch, buy new. <laughs> While I appreciate your folksy tire wisdom, I don't appreciate what you're putting mom through. What would you know about what mom's been through? You were never home. Yeah, this is good. You get it all out. Not Shut now. Up. You went away to college after dad died. Who do you think took care of everything? Mom did. Mom always took care of everything. <gasps> mom was a mess. Missy was a dumb teenager. I had to look after both of them. I talk to mom all the time. If she was upset, she would have told me. She was protecting you, you idiot, just like everyone always does. If things were bad, then why didn't you tell me? Because I was protecting you too. You're my baby brother, Sheldon. I know life has been hard for you. But that don't mean it's been easy for the rest of us. I suppose I didn't think about how it was for everyone else. No, that's all right. I know you didn't. I'm sorry. Thank you. And it would mean a lot to me to have my big brother at my wedding. I wouldn't miss it. Is it me, or did we just patch a tire? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. He said never patch. Do you even listen? What the hell is that? Come on, you know this one. It's a dog. I found him in the backyard. Don't worry, I already called the owner. Good, because we don't need a dog. We already have two babies, you and Stuart. Him. Hi. Luke Skywalker. 
It's Mark Hamill! <laughs> okay. Hello. Oh, thank you so much for finding this guy. Oh my goodness. Hey, Bark, how are you, buddy? Your dog's name is Bark? Yeah. Bark Hamill? Yeah. Well, I let the fans name him online. I got lucky, though. He was almost honey-baked Hamill. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much. I, I want to give you a reward for finding him. Oh, no. I he couldn't take your money. It's just an honor to meet you. No, no, please. You don't know what this dog means to me, and I thought he was gone for good. Please, there must be something I can do for you. Anything. Oh, you're going to regret that. <laughs> All right, guys, that was it. That was the best clips of Big Bang Theory season 11. I enjoyed myself. I hope you guys did too. Please like, subscribe. Let me know who's your favorite character in Big Bang Theory. Until next time, guys, if this video um, does well, gets a bunch of likes, a bunch of comments and stuff like that, I will make part um, 10. Well, I'll make another video of season 10 of Big Bang Theory, best parts of season 10 of Big Bang Theory. All right, so next time, guys, be safe and be safe at the movies. Peace.